know, this year, I know this year has been really, really tough and it's unlike any other year, at least for myself professionally. And it's not just this industry, it's the world in general. Um, and it's filled with these like high highs, like getting awards at Amusement Expo. And then within 48 hours, the globe is in a pandemic. So tell me though, when you look back in retrospect at the year, what, is, what are the things that inspired you um, the most? Some of the highlights for you. What are your thoughts? I think some of the highlights would be just the growth within the company and the industry and just knowing that we'll be able to get back there, you know, knowing where we started from and seeing how, like you said, at amusement, the highs that we had and the customers and how we'd worked so hard to build back our reputation and to really grow our, our team and our products and our offerings. And I think that's just something that keeps me motivated to keep going every day is because after this pandemic and we will get through this after, you know, all of the struggles, they're going to come that, you know, bright skies and that rainbow that's going to allow us to get back to moving forward again. That's absolutely correct. Yes. Matt, Britt, what are your thoughts? One thing with that is, you know, it's been so inspiring watching the entire industry come together because everyone just wants to support each other and make sure that, you know, no one's in this alone and we are going to get through it together. And there have been tons of free resources and webinars and, you know, industry community pages so that, you know, operators and vendors and partners and friends can all get together and make sure that we're, you know, doing what we can to get through it and to make sure our industry survives, you know, like what we did with, um, giving away the mobile wallet for free and then giving the cool kits away so that, you know, they our customers have had everything that they needed to launch and to reopen and to be safe when they start inviting guests back. So it's been so inspiring to watch just everyone come together and just do what they can to support everyone else instead of just thinking about, you know, how can I survive? It's how can we survive? Isn't that so true? That, you know, just the, the toughest of times just has the power to bring out the best in people. And especially in this industry that's already very generous in general, um, it was really extraordinary to see as different players, um, whether they were an FC or an amusement or an attraction or suppliers, um, it was just really, really just fascinating to see how um, so many basically stood up and said, okay, what can I give? Like, what can I do? Like, what can I you know, how can I support the industry's recovery? Um, and I just, I think uh, the things that I look at um, along the lines of what you mentioned, uh, Brittany, when I, when I look at this year, I certainly am really proud of, of some of the work that we did. I know, I know that many of us will agree that we probably, you know, we probably worked harder than we ever have in our entire lives during the pandemic, right? It was like seven days a week, 24 by seven. Uh, but, you know, in everything that we were doing, we were doing it for free, but we knew that we were doing it uh, because we wanted to um, help our industry um, reopen and, um, and recover. And I think that, you know, part of our motivation and part of what inspired us was also watching other people doing the same and being able to come together as an industry to do that. And I'm just, I certainly, for me, that was um, one of the highlights and something I'm certainly really, really proud of. Now, what are your thoughts? Uh, I just, I think something that may be overlooked, not, not necessarily by us, but by right. everyone in general, the whole world, is how creative, how people, or how creative people had to got. That's because there's very little resources, especially whenever, whenever uh, everything got locked down in, in March, very little resources to do very little with. And not only within the marketing industry, but um, folks like, uh, like Doug at Scary Strokes, uh, yeah. when they started, uh, trying to start uh, reopening, doing things like using their social media to play games for their incoming uh, customers and promising them prizes and, and, and tickets and just that kind of like out of the box thinking and that kind of creativity, uh, I think is incredibly inspiring. And uh, it's, just, it's just one of those things that goes to show that you know, when, when the chips are down, you, you either roll with it or you don't. And when you okay. roll with it, you come up with something pretty fantastic and it's, it's almost like uh, it's just when the when the pressure is on you create maybe something even better than if you had all the resources at your disposal 
That's absolutely correct. That is the silver lining of this of this tough time period is that um, it really like it, it forced many businesses to pivot and to be more creative than they ever have before in order to be able to weather the storm. And some of the some of the pivots that we've seen have become now sustainable business solutions. And so and that's also just really it's fascinating. It's 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 I think it's just fascinating from a perspective of you know it was the toughest of times, but when we come out of it, we will have grown so much, and there will be so much transformation, and that actually is what certainly captures the imagination for me.